channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing some tips that I've learned along the way of me being in love with makeup throughout the years and um, things that I think would be something that you should know for when you're putting on your makeup or during your routine and maybe it'll make some things easier. Um, again, these tips not might work for you or they might be excellent for you. So if you want to learn a couple tricks or, you know, just have them as backup, just keep on watching. So you guys, as you can see, I put my hair back with a headband. I was going to say bandana. Um, because I'm going to be performing these tips to you guys during the video. If at the end of this video you enjoyed what you saw or you you enjoyed learning what I learned, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And let's get started. So you guys, the first tip I have for you guys is never do your foundation before your eyeshadow because some people don't like the fallout and then maybe you like totally had a good day and you concealed your eyes perfectly and all of a sudden you have the fallout from like a brown color or a red color or a black color and it ruins your whole concealing and then you have to remove it and do it all over again. So might as well do your eyeshadow first and then your concealer and foundation. So tip number two for you guys is going to be never to use concealer or foundation as a eyeshadow primer or base. ELF has a super affordable primer, uh, super affordable eyeshadow base. I use this one right here. It's called Sheer and it's super affordable. It cost me a dollar really. So maybe just by using this, you'll prevent creases and all that good stuff that you do not want on your eye. So, what I do is I just dab it on my eyelid like this. And I grab my fingers and I blend it out. like that and you have your eyeshadow base on you guys so to create my eyeshadow look today I'm going to be using my handy dandy Jaclyn Hill palette right here and one color from this palette that I use also so we're gonna go in with a smudging brush right here this one right here and I'm gonna go in with this first color right here it's called a light And the reason I'm using this one today, I would usually use an eyeshadow brush to put on my base. But I actually cleaned, washed, cleaned my brushes just a little bit while before I started making this video. So they're still wet and everything. I'm good on my beauty sponges because I clean them and they're damp and I can put my foundation on and everything. But my brushes, I just want them to settle because if I don't let them dry and use them, they get even more dirtier and they get stained even more and they're just like super stiff so I'm gonna let those dry and I'm just gonna use this one for right now
So tip number three. So tip number three is when you're trying to put on your eyeshadow, the best way to control the color and find your crease is to have a separate mirror from your big mirror and actually put it on down like this and tilt your head up a little bit like that and you can find your crease easier and you can you know see where the color is going actually so for my crease I'm going to go in with this other color right here it's called pooter and we're gonna apply that on the crease going to be using is this red color right here. It's called Roxanne. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it in the same place where I apply, apply pudder so that way I get like a fall leafy color. with the color chip right here.
with this color right here and I'm gonna go with this color right here. This color it doesn't have a name, it's just a number. So it's E46 out of this palette. All I know it's from JL Cosmetics and it is super, super affordable. I got it at Ross. With the same brush, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to blend everything on the top out. And there you go guys so like I said earlier if you do your eyeshadows before your foundation like I told you I did um, you can just take any uh, makeup remover wipe or just makeup remover on a sponge like this or a makeup remover pen or even tape to take off all the fallout and I'm just going to sweep under my eye like this to get rid of any fallout from the colors. Tip number four is always, always do everything from one eye to the other when it comes to eyeliner. So in order to, you know, maybe hopefully get a perfect eyeliner, what I do is I start from one eye and then I do the same on the other and then I do the same process on each eye at the same time so that way at the end everything looks symmetrical. So tip number five, you guys, has to do with concealing underneath your eyes. So I know usually you guys go in a C motion like this, but the right way to conceal your eyes would be to create a 
upside down triangle underneath your eye and concealing like that. So what I do to conceal my eyes, obviously I prime my skin and for my primer I'm using the LA Girl Pro Primer and then to correct underneath my eyes because I have dark circles, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Palette in the shade medium and I use the color Warm Coral because orange is a correcting color for under, under eye circles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a damp beauty blender and I'm using the Out, Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. <laughs> And you guys, <clears throat> tip number six is not actually a tip, more like a hack. Um, so I know you guys like to bake or set or whatever underneath your eyes with setting powder. And um, I know sometimes we can't afford expensive setting powders or good you know, setting powders. So powders, sorry. So we end up getting whatever and they usually don't work so I'm gonna give you a little hack I use baby powder just Johnson baby powder right here and I just press it on my skin like usual now you would usually set your face with this I actually learned this from a from a youtuber she was testing out foundation um, foundation uh, setting powder before foundation and then after that video she she put out a video about uh, using baby powder instead of foundation uh, setting powder sorry I keep saying foundation but I went I took it in consideration and I tried it and it's um <laughs> So you guys, tip number seven is some. It's again not kind. It's not kind of a tip. It's just a hack. So again, I've watched this before and I've tried it out myself, and it worked for me. So might as well just try it out for you guys. Um, use baby powder as setting powder and do it before you put on your foundation. And when you put on your foundation, do upward motions and downwards. So upwards, no, not downwards. So, do upwards and outwards motions. So, you sweep up, you sweep up, 
you sweep up and out. So never go down or inside or anything like that or do circulars. It just gives you a streak-free uh, foundation look and it, um, you know, keeps your little facial hairs in place and it doesn't look like you have a caked face. So let's put on our foundation. So for my foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm just going to shake it a little bit. So you guys, tip number eight, never leave your house without putting a powder on. Even if you don't like to cake your face, you don't have to put it all over your face. What I do is I take the fluffiest brush that I have, which is this one. It's a Cala brush. It's a 401 powder brush. And all I do is I take it and I just put it on my teasel, which is my nose, my cute fits bow, my forehead, and my chin. And it helps with oil control. If you have a dry skin, I don't recommend putting setting powder and then powder because it's gonna make your skin crack. It's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna notice those wrinkles. Everything though, I have blemishes and I have wrinkles. A lot of them. If you if you can see that, I have a lot of them. So because I have oily skin, it doesn't really do much for me. But I know I don't have to go out through the day and touch up on powder because my skin is dripping oil. So that's a good way if you don't want to kick your face. It just if you have oily skin, T-zone. That's it. If you like kicking your whole face, then do your whole face. I don't recommend it for dry skinned people. Tip number 10, you guys, and this is going to be the last one I give you. The next one is kind of a hack. So the first one is contouring your face. If you don't know how to contour your face, the easiest ways to go about it is this way that I'm going to show you right now. So how I learned how to contour my face and I was taught by um, just watching YouTube videos. I watched Laura Lee, I watch, you know, Nikki, I watch um, Jeffree Star, all those people. And I just kind of, you know, figure it out. So what I do is I start from, this is the middle of my forehead right here. So I start from there and I go down into an E right there. And take some more product and then I grab the, from where I did that curve I'm gonna go down into my jaw my jawline right here and though this is the way basically how you're supposed to contour your face so I take an E motion on the side of my face and then for highlighting what I like to do is I take a different brush that I used for, for, uh, let me just find it here. Where did it go?
And obviously when you're done contouring your face, you want to go in with, again, setting powder or whatever you choose to do. Or you can go in with highlighter or you can go in with your um, foundation part or whatever you choose. So the last... So this one is kind of like a hack more than like a tip. So it's usually either or whatever you like to use it as. So um, the way I you do, the way I do my eyebrows, you guys. Let me just get my pencil out. I use three different products when I'm doing my eyebrows. Just. It, it usually depends on the day, usually how my eyebrow wants wants to be. I use the Benefit uh, Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil. Wow, I forgot that name. Uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and I also use El the Elf um, little uh, thing for eyebrows. <laughs> I use the cream one only. I don't use this one. This is more like a powder for this kind. So I do use it sometimes, but it doesn't really work because it's not my shade. And I also use a brown eyeshadow, which is like my same um, color of my brows. So what I do is first, I like to align my brows. So I go in with a pencil and I draw in where I'm supposed to be starting and where my arch is supposed to be obviously so when you go like this at the end of your nose you're right here in your nostril this is where your eyebrow is supposed to start so right here is where my eyebrows are supposed to start at the end of your nose right here is where it's supposed to end so what I did is I just went I just went bloop like that and obviously I just take the tip of my nose right here and I just measure it to my arch and obviously that's where my arch is supposed to be so that is a good hack to know how to do your eyebrows when to like how much to fill in how much to lay out so let's get these puppies on my face
there you go you guys I hope you like the hacks and tips that I brought you today and I hope you guys use them in the future when you're doing your makeup routine um, I try my best to give you guys what I learned throughout my years of watching beauty videos and the are your your our hours um, our fellow youtubers that have been in this for a really long time so um i hope you guys liked it and i hope you keep on watching my videos if you like this video give it a thumbs up and press that little bell button on the bottom of this video so you guys won't miss any of my videos and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye